Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM Dovex Steady model for today's second video. This is your 42 day forecast of UK and for Ireland, and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video is a 6 day UK weather forecast, got weekend forecast, and day of 14 day on the way as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECMW.int. For supplying the charts and the dates as well, by the way. Thank you so much, you see. <laughs> right, let's start off with week one. Mean sea level pressure anomaly. Taking us through, through uh, next week, which is 7th, 14th of October. And by the way, we get to the 18th of November with this. Goodness gracious me. Um, right, so next week, though, has high pressure blocking in the North Atlantic up towards Greenland, Iceland. Low pressure through the north west of Europe. Jet streams down here somewhere. Looks unsettled, doesn't it? 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down for next week. For blocking airs, high pressure up towards Green Iceland. Trough low pressure through the north west of Europe. That looks very unsettled as well. Temperature and <laughs> temperature anomalies are, uh, are cooler than average next week. Below average temperatures to come if the EC for today are is correct quite a chilly week on the way and also rather wet as well so cool and wet sums it up next week right week two will be the 14th 21st of october uh a slightly weaker signal but still with a little bit of high pressure up towards iceland and some lower pressure from the atlantic into the west of europe as well 500 millibar heights <coughs> so sorry everyone, looks like that's some higher pressure up towards Iceland. Um, what about temperature anomaly? Oh, well that's near normal actually, but it could still be slightly on the cool side there for Ireland and the UK. And precipitation, so still rather on the wet side, actually still above average rainfall, especially so for Ireland and England. Wales, notice it's drier up here though, where we have that blocking area of high pressure. Right, week three <laughs> will be the 23rd, 28th of October. Oh, well, oh, well, quite a big change here. Last week of October, last full week of October, sees a big area of high pressure taking over in the North Atlantic and to the north and the west of the UK. And Ireland, 500 millibar heights, showing that up very nicely as well. That's a significant area of high pressure, a very strong signal. Temperature anomalies, though, and about high pressure a little bit on the cool side. That's probably, probably because the position of the high means that would bring the wind in from something of a northerly direction. So a rather chilly end to October there. And uh, precipitation-wise, we go drier than normal for the UK and for Ireland too. Right, week four, be the 28th of October, 4th of November. Here we go. Um, so still quite a bit of high pressure around in that week, generally centred uh, to the north, but also to some degree maybe down here as well. The 500 millibar heights, again, showing above average heights in the North Atlantic going up towards green and could we bring some cooler or colder air into that area of high pressure. Temperature anomalies are, again, no better than average, so certainly no evidence of any, anything particularly warm coming up, is there, um, through October, and no single precipitation given, we are so far out, but we're going to go even further out, we're going to go to week five, which is before to the 11th of November, this is it, uh, quite a weak signal, but again, we do see signs of a negative NAO here, high pressure uh, towards green and ice, and low pressure around the Azores, um, what about 500 millibar height? So, again, that shows like a blocking signal in the North Atlantic going up towards Greenland and Iceland. Could that bring in some cold air from the North from the North East? Could it, could it? Could it, could it, could it? Could it, could it, could it? Um, <laughs> well, actually, no. Look at this. It turns out it goes slightly above average. Oh, dear. <laughs> and uh, precipitation-wise, very weak signal, though. Precipitation-wise, no, a bit drier than average up towards Iceland. A little bit wetter than average you here. I can't really see why that would be especially uh, mild, to be honest. But anyway, week six will be the 11th, 18th of November, last day. Let's have a look. 
And again, same sort of idea. We have high pressure blocking things out at all green ice and low pressure around me as well. It looks like a classic sort of negative AO, NEO type combination. NEO, anyway, and AO in terms of blocking up here. So both of the index is likely to be uh, in negative territory there. Uh, no better than average with potential. Might in reality be uh, rather on the cold side. And precipitation wise, where well, we see where the blocking high is maintained up towards Greenland and Iceland with the wet and average condition from the Atlantic and the Azores coming into Spain and Portugal. Classic negative AO NEO combination. So, quite an interesting six weeks ahead. No evidence of anything particularly warm. And uh, with quite a bit of uh, uh, normal blocking signals, actually could turn out to be quite, uh, quite, a, quite a cold sort of six weeks to come, especially when we get into November if that negative AO NEO combination continues and is maintained. We shall see just a snapshot of what the uh, model is showing. So, it could look completely different when we look at this again next week on Tuesday. So, extension dropping outlook or indeed next Saturday for the uh, UK and Ireland focus video. We're going to be back a little bit later on with your weekend forecast and we'll be back with the um, day 14 there as well so keep checking back to the channel for more but for this one that's all for now and thank you so much for watching bye for now